Good morning, friends. Today we're working on Unit 5, Lesson 7, pages 239 and 240. Bum, ba, da, ba, bum, bum, bum. But we're starting with some time. So we will start right here with this one. Go ahead and type it in the chat when you understand what time that is. And the big reveal, 9, 10. So that just happened a few minutes ago when we were in class working on extra math. So we know that our number or our hand is pointed just right after the nine. And if we count by fives up to that two, we get to 10. Here's the next, oh my gosh. Put it in the chat, my friends. <laughs> This one's not going to take too long. All right, eight o'clock. You guys got that one so good. Nice work. Okay, last one for this morning. Ooh. Tricky, 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 Mrs. Little John. This one is a little trickier. So we're looking at the hour hand and it's pointed in between the three and the four. Unmute yourself. Is it three or four? Is that the hour hand? Three or four? Okay. And when we count around five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, you should have gotten 335. If you got that one, I am so proud of you. Very impressive, friends. You guys are getting this time telling business done. Nice job. All right. So we're going to solve some put together, take apart, and compare problems with this one. What are we looking at here? What is this graph about? All right. What's the first thing we're going to do with this graph? Yep, you got it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our numbers down right there. So, and they already did the lines up and down. So I'm not going to do that this time because I can see that really easy. This zoo has a lot of lions and a lot of monkeys. All right. Now that we are all prepped and ready with our numbers at the end, now we're going to answer these questions. We'll do this together. This, ooh, maybe what I'll do is we'll do one of these together, two on your own. One of these together, two on your own. Let's go ahead and do it that way. So instead of I do, we do, you do, this will be kind of I do, we do, and then you do. And I'll read them to you. Four of the monkeys are adults and the rest are babies. How many of the monkeys are babies? So I'm actually just gonna go up here. There's four adult babies. How many are left? Two babies. I could put two baby monkeys if I wanted to. Is it monkeys like that or monkeys? Hmm, all of a sudden I'm wondering if it's monkeys or monkeys. But this doesn't look right, does it? I don't think that one's right. I'm gonna look it up for sure after I'm done making this video and find out. Because I know that that's appropriate for some spellings of it. Oh, they say it right here, monkeys. Yeah, so they wouldn't, they wouldn't mess with us and do it wrong. All right, how many fewer bears are there than monkeys? Go ahead and do this one on your own. The label on this one is going to be bears. There are two fewer lions than elephants. But wait, elephants aren't up here. So we're just going to have to figure out how many elephants there are. So there are two fewer lions than elephants. What are we going to add to lions? to figure out how many elephants there are.
yeah, go ahead and, and type. <laughs> go ahead and write that in there. Alrighty, so I will be wanting to see a picture of this page and this page. All right, now here we are looking at what kind of graph is this? Is this a vertical or horizontal graph? Hmm, go ahead and unmute yourself and just say it. That's right, those up and down ones are vertical. Okay, first things first, what am I going to do before I do any of that stuff? What will I do to these? Remind me. Thank you. We're going to put the number on the top of each one. The total. Because that just simplifies everything, y'all. Okay, next up. We do, I do. You do, you do. Jenny has four fewer purple beads than Morgan. How many purple beads do Jenny and Morgan have in all? Ooh, so she has four fewer, so that means I'm gonna add four to that. So Morgan has how many beads? Girl has 10. How many does she have? So how many beads, how many purple beads do they have? Yeah, we're working with some pretty easy math here. It's mostly about figuring out what information they're looking for. So we've got 16 purple beads there. All right, the next two I'm going to ask you to do on your own. But if you have questions, ask them. I don't want you just to sit, get stuck, and get frustrated. I am here for you. Okay, this looks like it says I, I. But it's not. How many are they talking about? Yeah, it's 11. So Morgan has 11 red beads. Then she gives two red beads to Aaron. How many more red beads does Morgan have now than Jenny? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take away those two beads that she gave to Aaron. And now she has nine beads left. So how many red beads does Jenny have? So Morgan has nine red beads. Ooh, so Morgan's red beads would be all the way up here. So how many more red beads does Morgan have? We can count them or we can subtract them. It's up to you. So these are problems with more than one step there. I didn't even tell you that. We just started doing it. So how many red beads does, how many more red beads does Morgan have than Jenny? All right, the last one. Five of Jenny's beads are large and the rest are small. She buys some small yellow beads. Now she has 18 small beads. How many small beads does she buy? All right, how are we gonna figure out how many of her beads are large and small? What do we need to do first? Yeah, we need to add them all up. Seven plus two plus five plus six. And we're gonna take that total And we're going to minus five from that. And that is going to be how many small beads she has. Now she has 18 small beads. How many small beads does she buy? So then we're going to take this small plus the mystery and that's going to equal 18. Whew. That's a lot to think about. We can work through this together if you need to. 
This is more than two steps. This is three steps. When you're finished with both sides of this paper, go ahead and take photographs and send it to me on Seesaw. Thanks, friends.